Okay, question number seven. Uh, it's across two pages because it's a little bit long. And the last bit, part C, is quite tricky. This time we're told lots of information about Ronan, who's designing a game with some discs. Uh, and he's got a set of discs here, let's call this set one. And he's got a set of discs two, which are two, four, six, eight, and these ones are one, three, five, seven, nine. Now, a player in, in this game, a player turns over one disc from this set and one disc from this set and adds the results up. And you can see inside the table they've started to add them up. So if they score, get one and a two, that adds up to three and so on. So all you've got to do is add up the missing entries in the table, which is okay here. So if they get a seven and a two, that's nine. A five and a four is nine. A three and a six is nine. And a one and an eight is nine. And I hope you can see there's some kind of diagonal pattern. But let's check that this works out. Seven and four is 11, because sometimes if they don't go up by the same amount each time, then this pattern won't follow. 5 and 6 is 11, 3 and 8 is 11, 5 and 8 is 13, 7 and 6 is 13, 13, this is 15, this is 15, and this is 17. Excuse me, so that's just two marks for adding up those numbers, which is quite uh, easy two marks, I think. Now, what's, what's the property of getting a total less than 6? Well, of all the different ones, depending on which disc you pull from this set and which disc you pull from this set, if you look inside the table, not counting these on the outside, inside the table, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, there's 20, 20 outcomes, and I'm going to write that down, 20 outcomes, and these are all the different scores. Now, a total less than 6, well, that's 5, 5, or 3, they're the totals less than 6, so there's only 3 different ways of making that. So the probability of getting a total less than 6 is 3 twentieths. 3 which we want out of the 20 total. Now let's look at that part C. Now I've copied the table across here and it's all filled in already. Now Ronan uses this game to raise money for charity. Each player pays 20p for the game. If a player gets a total of 13 exactly, they win a bar of chocolate. And it costs Ronan 50p for each bar of chocolate. After 100 people play the game, show that Ronan would expect to make £12.50 for charity. Okay, so again, we've got the answer here, and we have to show how it gets that. Well, the probability of a win, well, you can only win if it's exactly 13, not more or less exactly 13. So there's only three options here, like the four. So the probability of a win is 3 out of 20. So... If we divide out, work out what that is as a fraction, we do the top divided by the bottom, we get 0.15. Okay, that's probably of winning. So in 100 games, which is what Ronan's doing, 100 people play, you're going to do 100 times 0.15, which comes out as 15 wins. So he expects... He expects in a hundred games for there to be fifteen wins based on the probability. Now it might not be exactly that, but that's what he's expecting in theory. Fifteen wins. That's worth a mark. If there's fifteen wins, then they get a bar of chocolate which costs fifty p. So Ronan's going to have a cost uh, of fifteen times fifty p, which equals seven pounds fifty costs for the chocolate. Again, that's a mark. Then if you say, well, if you worked out the cost, that's how much it's going to cost if those people, if those 15 people win, it's going to cost him £7.50 to, to for all the chocolate. But everyone's paying 20p whether they win or lose up front. So it's 100 times 20p, which is going to equal £20 which is expected, well, we're going to take all that takings, okay, so we're expecting to have that in. So if you worked out that there's £20 expected to make, expected to take £20 for customers, but you're going to have to pay £7.50 in costs, all you've got to do for the final mark is do 20 minus 7.5, which equals £12.50 profit. And the profit we just got from taking the £7.50 the costs away from how much you expected to make. 
and that leaves you with the £12.50 which he, he's designed is going to give to charity. Okay, so this one's a bit weird, you might have to go over especially this first bit here, go back over it and see if you can understand what I've done.